Alright, yo, what's up, YouTube Nation? My, uh, other camera just, uh, ran out of storage on my other phone, but, alright, so, here we go. Um, I'm gonna start this again. Uh, the title of the video is A Long Trip to Nowhere. Um, and, like I said in my last video, um, I'm just here trying to shed some light on the carnival life, and really, um, what it means to be a carny and stuff like that. Um, I'm gonna have to put my camera down, but I'm gonna keep talking, so. But anyway, so, uh, to be a con, to be a carny, um, I know there's a bad reputation that, uh, comes with that persona that will, uh, drug um, addicts or stuff of that nature. But for the company I'm working for right now, the James Street Expo, they, uh, they drug test you. Uh, the last time I worked for them, they uh, did a spit test. And you guys who know how to do a uh, drug test or don't know the different types of drug tests that are out there. There's a, what they call a spit test or a saliva swab test. That's where you take a cotton swab in your mouth and you uh, basically spit on the big, big cotton swab and uh, then they test it. This time it was actually a urine test. So I had to go and do a port of J by the uh, midway office and piss in a cup and then it tests the piss, make sure it doesn't have anything crazy in it. Now, I think in the state of North Carolina, and I think all over the country right now, legally they cannot check the test for a THC because of um, Delta 8, Delta 9, and CBD has uh, um, THC in it. Um, Per se, I'm not a big THC um, person, so I don't know exactly what all is in Delta 8 and Delta 9, what shows up in drug tests. I'm not a big uh, know it all on that, but what I do know is I smoke weed and I do have a Delta 8 pen that I hit. But, um, but they did not hold me down because I have THC in my system. But, like I said, it's, it's not for the pain of heart. It's not like your, it's not like your average nine to five or eight hours work day. You don't roll over, uh, in the morning, kiss your significant other, uh, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, or your same-sex partner. Goodbye and uh, go walk for eight or nine hours and uh, then go home. No, a lot of it is you will, uh, oh crap, you pull a lot of hours like uh, on the weekends. Friday to uh, Sunday, we uh, open up at 10 a.m., so we have to be there at 9 a.m. to get a sign what ride we're going to be getting a sign for for that day, and we won't usually get off until 11 unless you're like me and or in town and you take the bus and come back, because actually the company I've been working for has been very... Uh, lenient on allowing me for my transportation needs of uh, taking the bus. Um, the, other, the other good thing about the company I'm working for now, I don't know if most of them are like this, I've only worked for one company, is it's under the table. So when you, uh, you don't, and that's the other thing about working the carnival, you don't go in and punch in and punch out. You just uh, 
basically you go in, you say I'm here, they ask you what short size you want, they give you a short, and you get you go to your assigned area for that day, you wait an hour until it opens. When it opens is uh, when the fun begins. I've been doing the pilot right now. Probably uh, a couple of days, which that's one of my favorites. Yeah, I just give them the commands to, when they get on, to lift their hands up, and then uh, when the bars go down, let's ride, and then after that, I give it another. And I say everybody scream, and then when everybody screams, uh, if they want to, and then I give them the command at the end of the, till the end of the ride, lift your hands up, the bars will go up, you exit out to the, the side I'm on. Uh, thank you for riding the pilot ride at the Mountain State Fair. Come back and see us. And that's pretty much it. I mean, it's probably one of the easiest jobs I've ever had. You just hang out and stuff like that. And the the biggest thing, the biggest reason why I like doing it is I'm creating memories that people can have with us for a lifetime. You know, these are what the a lot of these people that come they look forward to this one event all year long and then after they come for however many times they come at the end of that that might be the one big hoo-rah for them for the whole year and it's my job as a ride attendant and uh connie to uh provide them that happiness and letting them know that they're going to have a fun time, but they're also going to be safe all the on my ride. And like I said, I know Connie comes with a bad name. It comes with a bad rep. And a lot of us don't even like being called Carnies. But, you know, I don't get offended by the word Connie. That's, that's basically what we are. I mean, not all of us live up to the reputation of that. I went to high school, graduated out of a high school diploma. I was actually working a government job. I was a, a city school custodian uh, before I became a part of a carnival. My uh, job was in jeopardy for termination, so I decided to uh, go with the carnival because uh, the principal said I wasn't up to job performance, whatever that means. I got blamed for some stuff that uh, I really don't think I should have been blamed for. But like I said, I mean, the biggest part for me is to show Jesus' light through my actions and to let people know, you know, what I do is not living up to your average uh, stereotypical carny lifestyle, you know. So I just thought I would share that with you guys and let you guys know that that's really um, what the life is like. Um, I'm really not knowing what's going to happen if I'm going to get to travel with them because the last two times I talked to them, they said, oh, there's no available beds. And I'm, I'm like, well, what's that? And the first time I asked the lady that in the office, she said, there might become availability, there's a big turnover. So that's the end goal is hopefully uh, by Sunday, uh, 
I will get to go on the road or go on tour with them. But as of right now, we don't know what's possibly going to happen. But I told them last night I'm still um, available. My options are still options up till Sunday. But I think instead of going right on the road with them right when they leave, I think I'm going to ask them where the location is and just ask them if I can come a day or two later and catch a greyhound because I'm really not trying to uh, leave when they leave because I got a few other things I got to settle here. I got a cat I'm going to have to deal with and figure out what I'm going to do with if I end up going out on the road. And I don't want to surrender her or pay someone to look out for her if I end up going on the road for good. So that's pretty much it. I hope that um, helped you guys understand a little bit about what we do and stuff like that. There's definitely some stuff we have to put up with that I think is pretty much BS. But, um... That'll be for another time, another story, and another video. But um, I'm going to have to sign off here and get ready and get ready and pack to go to the fair. So uh, thank you guys. Stay safe and uh, stay chill. And let's get her done.